Good afternoon everybody. Uh, getting around to cutting my quarter inch 611 plate to replace the MDF one that's on my MPC and seed lever rudder too. Give it a little more rigidity. I actually had already milled this quarter inch 90 degree angle with the original plate and everything. I uh, just want to be able to push my speeds up a little bit and give it a little more strength on it. So it's going to cut the hole for the 611 and the dust shoe. And it's going to drill the holes for the stepper, the four for the dust shoe, and then the the P2 for each of the roller bearings. And then we will get this started. Got a uh, eighth inch single flute bit in there, and got everything zeroed out. Set my zero, get the vacuum on and router on, and we will be going. Any questions, post them below. Please like and subscribe. If you like my tips and tricks on all these CNC things and uh, ham radio and whatever else I do, electric motorcycle.
Good afternoon everybody, just wanted to give an update on my last project and that was milling a quarter inch 611 plate for my MPC and C lowrider 2. It finished up and was able to mount all the hardware back on it. But it did make a big difference. This was a 90 angle that I milled a while back and it's square with the gantry so I can push work up against it. Oh, it's always square um, so the difference now as opposed to the MDF quarter inch that came up here anytime you start the router even at lower RPMs it's, it's on four right now but you would notice a little twist and I guess it was just a little bit of give in the, the wood but now with the aluminum there is no twist <laughs> Like I said, it's just, um, nine by five and a half. A local welding shop, actually they repair cranes. He had some spare quarter inch and cut it exact dimensions on his shears. So I didn't have to mill any of the outside. Just basically drilling the holes and milling the cutout for the router and the dust shoe. But it's a lot smoother tracking on the Y, excuse me, the X axis. I'm just controlling the axis from the LCD here, moving it um, 10 millimeters at a time. But I'm happy with the outcome, and I think it's a pretty big upgrade for the, the router too. But if you have any questions, um, this is a 24 by 48 uh, router too. I'm running a PVC board for the rails for the skate wheels to roll on. These won't ever wear down. So I made the 2x4 frame just narrow enough to have those on either side. Um, frame underneath put together with a uh, roofing nailer. It's 2x3s. There is a 3 quarter inch piece of MDF sunk in in my spoil board with the nut inserts. And I milled those out. And like I said, this is a 24 by 48 and sitting on top of two Home Depot work stands and it's a large six horsepower vacuum with a diffuser on it and a dust topper from Home Depot and you can see the dust in the bottom or wood chips too. Work light and my camera to monitor the job. I need to step over to the restroom or make some food. But any, a lot of times I just drive screws, wood screws, and I'll go back and hit this with the sander and just smooth it out again. But if you got any questions, just post them below. And I will try to answer them. And thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and share on the forums.